in this episode we are continuing our adventure in the lower level of the thunderous cavern on donor island this is the Cormon demo thank you so much for joining i do appreciate it we are doing quite well i believe and got a nice party set up for a in-game kind of setup here we got our electro type that we need and we've got our sand type that we need for upcoming adventures and we got another potent so four of our six party members right now are potent and i am super stoked about that we are trying to get through this lower level so that we can find all of the items that we need to find and all the treasure chests just to make sure that we cover all the cover the whole area and yeah i like those treasure chests the treasure chests help, help out quite a bit they give us some things and we don't have to spend money on it and that's what i like we're kind of going over the other area to get we, there could be another trainer down here where we can get money on them and also any treasure chest and get some goodies from it'll cost us a few battles probably when we are done with this area instead of walking all the way back out we might use a lux recall so that we can try to figure out which guy i want to put in here let's go ahead and try our taruga we'll take a lux recall out so that we can get back out and heal pretty good because we're going to be off to one side of the bottom and we don't want to run all the way to the other side especially with a damaged party here and that is going to be the trick here wow that took a lot more off than i uh, thought it would which is good i don't have a problem with that not a problem at all and there we go down in two rounds so we are getting a pretty high every once in a while we're running into a 10 or 11 but most of the time they're eights or nines in this area so we are pretty well set up for what we need to get to there we go another hp keg that's going to be great also something that you have to look out for is if you saw we're going to talk about it when we leave this area but there was some little platforms that kind of look like stairs below us just so that you know you can go down the stairs but you can't go up the stairs so if you want to do anything else you want to do that before you go down the stairs otherwise you're gonna have to one wonder wonder run all the way around to get to that place again and that's just ill advised i mean you could do it if you really really want to get the experience and have that extra work but it's best to do the up and then you can go down the stairs i'm not exactly sure where the stairs put you we can find that out here in just a minute i do believe there is a trainer up there above us so we're gonna have to figure out where that is a potential for mawful i'm gonna put i don't know what we have been putting in him but i'm gonna put an sp on him because i just you know what i don't i want him have all kinds of hp i think it's going to be the best thing maybe not maybe a little bit of more hp wouldn't be a bad idea because i want that i want to, we're gonna have a long battle with him in a little bit and i want to make sure that he's prepared so we want to go up these steps and see what's up here first oh there's stairs down that's interesting i was thinking now i'm a little bit confused do we want to go down or do we want to go up it's definitely something that could be a choice i don't recall they may have very well may have changed the layout in the tunnel from when i last did it i don't recall so we're gonna have to do a little bit of exploring down here and see how that's going to work out for us we've got poisonous venomous bees venomous bees the difference between venomous and poisonous if something is venomous how the way how does it go if it bites you and you die it's venomous if you bite it and you die it was poisonous so if you ingest something it's poisonous 
if something bites you and you die, it was venomous. So that's the difference between venom and poison. Let's see how we want. We want to do some attack and let's do a... I keep on wanting to do health. It just, there's nothing wrong with boosting your health up every time. Really, there's not. Lumen. Uh, attack and I'm going to throw in a special this time because it's lower Again, he's not going to be my powerhouse. There's other ones that are going to be my powerhouse So I kind of keep that in mind as we're doing this who is going to be my powerhouse Who's going to be the one that I'm going to be relying on the most and that's kind of Where I think of here. I need to switch this guy out. What do we got a we don't got a whole lot left. We're in a little bit of a trouble, but I believe my powder bit and my silk pool will be able to pull this out. I don't, the Fury Pinchers, no! Six each time. If it, it's all three, that's gonna be really bad. Oh, it got poison, sweet. Let's see what this wind blast does and see how much damage it does to that guy. The fast strike's really nice, but let's try. I know his... That did a whole lot of damage. That was really nice. I know that Silkwill's speed is really high. I've been putting it up really high. I figured that it was going to go ahead and be something that he'll be able to win that speed battle there. Okay, so we got a little bit of experience here. What is your last guy? A hound does. You know what I'm pulling out for a hound does. I'm pulling, oh, maybe I'm not pulling out my Marvel. Okay, we're gonna see if we can get hit him with a, oh, the, the claw, I should just do that. There we go, that's gonna be very effective. He might be able to win it out. It depends what the Volt Lick does here. I might risk, oh, the Volt Lick is a, oh, a speed decrease. I did not realize that. I thought that was a damaging thing. Mighty War. So he's just gonna debuff me the whole way through this. I guess that's okay. I attack him in a couple rounds, he's dead. It really doesn't matter to me. I want a Houndos. If I got a Houndos, that'd be really nice. Oh, my Silk Quill's evolving. Last episode, we got our Swarmy to evolve, and now my Silk Quill evolving as well. I don't know, if I got a potent Houndos, I don't know if I would keep my Houndos or my potent Silk, or my potent Lumen. That'd be a tough, tough choice there, I gotta say. Very tough choice. No! Okay, now what do we want to do here? We got a tricky thing. There's a down. I got a down on one side and an up on the other. I'm gonna run down here because I believe this drops me right down to, oh no, no, I ran too much. That was so silly of me. So we're gonna have to do that all over again so that we can grab that treasure chest. I'm not gonna let a treasure chest go by for sure. Let's go ahead and switch over to my Moffle. He's gonna take him out really easily and not get hurt very much from the electric. That's frustrating. We need that treasure chest. I think we'll make a big figure eight, try to get over there to the treasure chest and then try to, we could always wait and get it later too. We're gonna probably be in here in several episodes, so I'm not gonna push it. I wonder, one was a up and one was a down though. I'm really curious about that. I'm not sure, I will never make it out of here this rate. Let's see if we can run. I really would like to see if we can run out of here. Let's see if we can run one of these. I usually don't, but let's see. I got away, sweet. I kind of just want to get out of here. There are times that you're playing this and you're like, oh my gosh, I got into another battle and I just want to get away. That's what the stink spray is really nice. Sometimes you can just get away. Did we get a run away? Yay, we got a one, one away. One away, one away. So we are out. We are running back to get ourselves some healed up. Again, the grunts are the really thing that knocks you out. 
when you're going through there. The random encounters can give you some trouble, but they're not as bad as the grunts because the grunts usually have two, either two really higher than your level or they have three or four that's gonna hurt you. It's really the grunts that you need to watch out for and then you just do the random encounters as you go through let's see if we got an order in which i would like them let's switch these two out we still need to get our moffle up to something that is competitive with my other two cormon which are other five cormon i guess and i guess if i found a hound those that it was like 11 i would switch him out if it was potent I think I'm gonna try to go down if we can get back around there. It will depend a little bit on how these battles go, but I think I would like to go down and see. No, we can't do that saying that's gonna be a very bad idea indeed. And this is the way it's gonna be. You put your Lumos in there. He's gonna level up as your other people get that little bit of damage. Take the people out and just he will eventually catch up with your other people eventually he'll be able to get to the area at which he is going to be able to fight the other Kormon on his own a level equal or around that and then we're just going to be able to level him up in his own fights he's going to be able to catch up pretty quickly here another 75 for Lumos which is good we're going to try to make it as we're not making it anywhere, are we? Not anywhere fast at all. Another Lumon, what is he? He is level 11. I'm gonna go with my Moffle. It just makes sense. Like I said, if he gets 16 or 17 in this caves, we'll put him in the back and we'll use him a little bit less in the power tower so that the other Cormon can catch up to him. And we could always play around in here a little bit and love make sure that we everybody is leveled up as well we're kind oh we missed how did we miss no come on all we need is one sandball that's all i need to do is hit with one sandball come on you gotta be kidding me that's three misses in a row that swarm diversion really helped helped him out there Oh, come on. Okay, let's see if we can do a scratch here. And oh, I used another one. No. Accuracy is severely decreased here. And let's see if we could just. All I need to do. Oh, we took a rest. That's going to help us out a little bit. Hopefully, we'll get a. There we go. We got our hit in finally. Wow. I mean, it can help as long as you do the swarm diversion and then attack that's going to be really where it's at you have to do the debuff and then immediately rebuff do the debuff and then immediately attack otherwise it just doesn't work out as well we got nine he's a 12 he's got scratch let's see if we could do something here and see that was actually very effective he used tough it up which i don't think will be enough because we took off like 15 there so we're gonna see what that scratch is and how it's going to oh see still very effective but this is what we're talking about we got him to level up to level 12 he's going to be able to do his own battle now he's going to get all the experience for that and that's going to be a huge jump for him we're just getting in all the random battles here well we don't want to go that way we want to go up past this guy and all the way back around because I want to go down and see what that is about before we go on somewhere else. Let's see what we have here. A 10. We're going to try it, but he also has, because it was a Lumon, he also has Scratch. Oh, he used Cute Pose. That's not a very smart move on his choice, but that's what he chose. That should, oh, one point off no Ooh. who's gonna win this who's gonna have the first attack there we go we got it that might push him up to level 13 and then oh so close here
Hey, if we get stop getting these random encounters, I want to try this and see if this stink thing helps us out any. Hopefully it clears out an area, but I really don't know if it works in the caverns, the Thunderous Caverns. It doesn't really look like it did here. We've got an Armado that is a 10, but we're not going to be able to fight him. Our Trug is already a little hurt. This doesn't look good for us. I feel that we're really high level here for what we've been fighting, but it's just not working out for us. The, the random encounters have been really high as we tried to get back in here. So we're gonna see what we can do. I'm gonna try to poison him. It's also very effective here. So hopefully we'll be able to get him enough damage and maybe the poison effect will knock him out in the next turn. That's kind of what I'm going for here. See if that will work. Oh, it did, knocked him out right there. I would, did it worked, it did what I wanted it to. I just didn't think that I would knock him straight out like that. Okay, I wonder also if running makes a difference. If running increases or decreases our chance to get a encounter or does nothing. It's very possible that it actually does nothing who we're gonna go with let's go with the Bezo again I guess again anytime I really get in trouble I could always use a Lux recall we haven't used any well we use like one thing and that's about it so I'm not really too worried about using up a few items as we go in here if we use the that worked out really well use a luxury call or an HP cake or something like that we still got a lot of this game left and we're not really hurting for money we've been running back most of the time so I don't figure we're gonna be in any trouble here as long as these stupid <laughs> random encounters stop at some point maybe we'll be able to make it through I'm not sure here Let's go with, it is only a nine. Let's see if our Bezel can hang with him. I'm hoping so. Maybe he'll use Toughen Up or something like that because we're such a high level above him. A lot of times they're defensive when we are a high level. The thing that you've got to worry about here also is it's such a long area. In the Woodlow Forest, and the radiant park it's only in the grass so as long as you get through the grass you can get back to the town okay what really hurts you here even if you're several levels ahead is the travel time all these random encounters as you're trying to make it to where you need to go makes a huge difference here and it you really don't think about it but it does make quite a bit of difference as you're doing all these random encounters to try to get where you want to be it really slowly starts to deplete your team in which you need to be think of normally two you might need to be five levels ahead now just because you are you have so many just battle after battle as you're trying to get out there that may have been a bad decision here but we are We'll see he used that which i think as long as we can land this it will probably knock him out yep i was just hoping it didn't miss it that's what i was going to be worried about is if it missed it let's see if we can get him to the downstairs and i really don't recall the difference between the downstairs and the upstairs I'm going to be following the left wall, but it seems like everything's the same. We're in a little hallway here. So far, it is the left and the right wall has been the same. We haven't had any choices here. We've got a Lumen. What is... He's a level 9, so let's go ahead and pull our Mawful back in. He might need it into sleep. We might have to run out. We'll just have to play it as we go. Every adventure in gets us a little further 
and a little more experience as gets us to get a little further in the next time but this is the game we play and it's just that long battle after battle that drains your enemies because you're in so many fights without a break right, basically the same that's it is that okay it looks like it was just a chest down here we got two hp cakes two sp cakes a stinky scent now the stinky scent is different then so that was the downstairs is just a little circle so if you don't want to go to downstairs you don't have to the stinky scent is nice because it will work unlike the stinky module it will work in the caverns it will work basically anywhere it gives you like a five minute timer so that in that five minute timer there is no or no, maybe not no encounters but a severe reduction in the chance of encounters if you have a couple of stinky sprays and you're running into a lot of random encounters maybe use one of those stinky sprays so that you can get out and survive i'm gonna go to my guild wing here because he does have the claw that will be good on the electric and will probably knock him out so in the cave instead of the stink module you can use the stinky spray i think i have a couple of them we can use them to get them somewhere one of the things you could do is use one right off the bat so when you come in the next time you can use it so that you can get to the ladder without fighting that's always a good way to do it and we might actually do that in the next episode just to show that off but we got that buzzlet knocked out. I still want to find a hound dose. And there's still one other one, I believe, that we have not encountered yet for this area. Let's check really quickly on the world. I think there's one that we haven't seen yet. Yeah, we need the hound dose and the lunar pup. And then there's still one we haven't seen. Hopefully, we'll be able to find all of them before time runs i guess time doesn't ever run out i guess i didn't want to spend extra time in here is what i'm saying i was just hoping that maybe we could find it on our normal progression through the tunnel and be able to capture it. that's another tricky thing is being able to capture it because if again if you're five or six levels ahead you're going to be able to do a hard hit on it and it may not be one hit knockout and you can't capture it you know it's that one time you find a potent hound dose and you knock it out because it's just you're that much higher level than it is it's kind of disappointing you could keep trying keep trying to find it. i'm not really looking to find a potent on everything i just would like to have all of the cormon in the demo so far so that's kind of what i'm looking at doing hopefully we could do that in the normal progression maybe afterwards as a bonus episode we can go through if we miss some but that's going to be our episode i believe for today we could run in and see if we can get to the tower or the stairs and head on up the other cave upper area of the cave but i think this is a good spot we'll start out the next episode use that stinky spray instead of the we got items here we have two things that we could actually use here if we wanted to we got a stinky disc chance of repel wild cormon if held by your leading squad member so the there's a point on that if you look at your leading squad member it will be based off of its level so if you wanted to avoid more battles you would want to put your highest one in there so put like i would put my pitter bite in the lead which is this spot here and then give him that stinky disc and i think anything less than a 15 is severely reduced in the chance of a random encounter now again that is only wild cormon that does not affect the trainers any bit at all we also have a somewhere we should have a spray 
is that over here? Oh, Stinky Usables. Stinky Scent repels Cormon weaker than your leading squad member for three minutes. Maybe I was wrong on the other one. Maybe it is not. Because that one specifically says weaker than your leading squad member. So I would have to then say that the Stinky Disc just has a chance to repel the Wild Cormon if held by your leading squad member. So they are a little bit different. This is indefinite, but doesn't is not affected by level. And this is for three minutes, but is affected by your level, which means that you can put that 15 up there and be a little bit safer, I guess. That's what we have now. And just remember your squad leading squad member is this position that top left position is your leading squad member that's going to be our episode in the next episode like i say we're going to head up and take the ladder up to the other area of the cave and explore there thank you so much for watching i do appreciate it and i will see you all in the next episode bye everybody